Hello, this is the Wall 200. I'm here with a review. Uh, today's review is going to be about Megalo Box, and I'll stay away from the spoilers as much as possible. But this anime is really good. I'm starting to really get into it, and I really wanted to, to progress a little bit before I started reviewing it. I've been watching it, but I haven't been really reviewing it. Uh, maybe I'll do episode by episode, but I don't know. I'll do maybe multiple episode reviews. Um, I'm not too sure if I'll dedicate a whole videos because I probably will miss certain episodes and I don't know if I can upload as soon as they come out for each and every episode. So I might do it in multiples like a five or something like that but I'm not 100% sure. But the animation in this is really fucking good. I haven't seen any used animation or really shitty animation there are a few like rough spots but other than that it, the animation is really fucking good and the action and the flow and everything else is just so amazing it's this is so good i can't even express how good the animation is on this freaking show it's so good now i'm actually surprised that uh, how they incorporate the story because the story is really fucking good it's about this guy He's doing underground boxing, basically. Um, let's call him Joe because he calls himself Joe in there. So Joe decides to try to make it to this Megalo Box, which is, I guess, sanctioned actual fighting. Because what he's doing is probably illegal, as far as I could tell, or is very underground boxing. So he's kind of like the king down there, but he's pretty much a fucking nobody. Because you got to, like, I guess pay for citizenship or something if you're really poor you can't fucking do that and only citizens can participate in this these sanctioned events so they use these i guess like mech suits in a way I'm, I'm they're not really mech suits they're just like um reminds me of like rock'em sock'em robots they're like exoskeleton suits and there's one particular guy that looks like Jax from Mortal Kombat. I shit you not. That's what it reminds me of. And there's like machines attached to their arms that give them like, you know, extra speed, strength, and all this stuff when they're boxing. It's a really unique kind of uh, concept. And um, later in the anime, um, it's kind of a spoiler, but it's not major. Um, Joe breaks his gear and he f starts fighting these guys without no fucking help from this these machines and it's really interesting how they uh, try to do this and I thought it was going to be like a straightforward anime just about his training and boxing and kind of like uh, over exaggerated moves kind of like what they do with Yu-Gi-Oh when they draw and shit and Prince of Tennis when they switch hands and people just go on ape shit and there's <laughs> absolutely no necessary or real reason to emphasize what they're doing I mean they do that once in a while but it's not overly done um, which I really like I, I thought it was just going to be this over top exaggerating their moves kind of anime it's not like that it's actually pretty good and it's well put together I, I don't really have a whole lot of complaints about this anime so far it's so good and it doesn't you know focus 100% on the boxing or the training um, they actually have backstories for pretty much all of these other fighters that he's going against which is and they don't half-ass it either they actually go in depth about um, how they got into the, these uh, I guess the pros if you really want to call it like the you know the megalo box uh, tournaments so that is a really good aspect. I didn't I didn't expect them to do that. They go really in depth on some of these characters and how they got here and why they're doing the boxing careers and stuff like that. So <laughs> the only negative things I have are is about the um a character in there and his trainer seems comes off like he's like a real piece of shit like I really don't like this character cuz they make him out to be this piece of shit coward basically and he's like the afraid of the littlest fucking things of um him you know happening to this joe character let's call him joe because he, he calls himself joe later in the anime um and i really hate this fucking characters is just how he's portrayed i get why they kind of do it because the where they're from you know i said they're from poor kind of uh thing so he seems like a you know kind of like a hustler kind of person like um 
you know, a, a kind of a piece of shit anyways. So I guess they got that pretty fucking packed down because I really hate this guy. It, but other than that, I, I I can't find any really other complaints that uh, I can really name off of. So to give this a review, I think <laughs> that deserves a point for this guy because this guy just irks me to no fucking end. I give this anime so far, unless it turns into really shitty down the road, I nine out of ten. If it changes into the you know in the ends, and if it changes the score, I'll re re review it at when it, the anime ends. But for right now, I give this a solid 9 out of 10. And you should really check this out because it's very interesting. It's very in-depth. And I really hope they don't fuck this anime up because I'm really starting to enjoy it. Thank you for listening. Like, comment, and subscribe.